Can I read off your computer? The Quarantine Quad, written by Mrs. Lawrence's period sex class. It was just another boring day, a B-day. The kids sat at their desks six feet apart, listening to their teacher, Mrs. Caution, talk to a computer screen at Riverside Elementary. Muskenna, Rona, Sandy, and Ties made eye contact and giggled through their masks as Mrs. Caution struggled with microphone issues with the A group on Zoom. Rona clumsily knocked over the gallon of hand sanitizer, which caused Miss Caution to scream with panic, no, because of how valuable it is during this time. Miss Caution tells Rona, Maskenna, Sandy, and Ties to go to the janitor's closet to get a mop to clean up the mess. While walking to the janitor's closet, Rona was apologizing. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over the hand sanitizer. All of you guys shouldn't need to come with me, Rona said. They reached the janitor's closet labeled room 19. Ties opened the door. Don't worry about it, Ties said. We don't mind, we'll always be here to help you. Ties went to grab a mop. Miss Kenna, Rona, and Sandy went to go grab the other supplies. Just as they were about to leave, the door shut behind them and locked. Hey, why won't the door open? Sandy exclaimed. They took turns trying to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. The ground started to shake and a loud rumble filled the room. Lights were flashing everywhere as the students started to disappear one by one. What's happening? The kids shouted at the same time. When they came out of the janitor's closet room, they felt dizzy. Whoa, what just happened to us? Said Rona. When they started, looked around the school and no one was wearing masks and they found a board that had a date on it. It said March 13th, 2020. I think we went back in time, Rona screamed. Oh my God, Ty screamed. He screamed so loud that all the teachers came running. What happened? Miss Caution questioned. Um, nothing, Sandy lied. Then the teachers went back to what they were doing. They couldn't believe that just happened to them. So what do we do now, asked Ties. But the question is, how far did we go back? Did we go back? Miss Gunna wondered. They decided to look around to see if they could get any clues to where they are and what year they are on. It's March, March 13, 2020, clean Ties. They were relieved that they didn't travel back to the 1900s, but they needed a plan and needed one fast. I don't think that they know that COVID-19 is a thing, Sandy explained. After they assessed the situation, they gave each other jobs. Me and Rona will try to hand out some masks. Ties and Sandy, you guys start wiping down anything and everything. Maskena informed them. They split up to go do their jobs. Soon after they found each other, they started to discuss how they would get everyone to go on lockdown and how they would get back to their present time. What if we go to someone who has a lot of authority and can say to the people to have to stay in? Ty suggested, that's a good idea. Let's go to the mayor, then they can talk to someone else, Ms. Guinness said. They found the mayor and were able to have a chance to talk to him. We need you to talk to someone else and convince them to get the world on lockdown for at least two weeks. Here's why, Ms. Guinness said while she pulled out her phone. Mascana quickly found a news article all about COVID-19 and showed it to the mayor. While the mayor sat and read the article about why they need to wear masks and go on lockdown, the four of them stood there quietly and crossed their fingers, hoping that the mayor believed them. Once the mayor finished reading, he went up and picked his work phone and started to call someone. The mayor turned on the TV and waited for a few minutes. Whatever on the TV was interrupted by the president's broadcast. He announced, we are shutting the country down for two weeks, which means no going to school, stores, restaurants, parks, and no leaving your home for any reason. This is effective immediately.
Almost right after the TV was turned off, Mesquena, Rona, Sandy, and Ty disappeared and were falling for a few seconds. Then they were back in the janitor's closet with the mop and other supplies in the hand. Are we back? asked Ty. I think we're back, replied Mascana. The four kids walked out of the closet. They returned and saw a huge difference. There was less mask wearing and all of the students in the quarantine quads grade were there. The kids reminisced on their crazy day and pat each other on the backs for their accomplishments. When the group walked back to their class, Mrs. Caution was waiting at the door. What took you guys so long, she questioned. They all looked at each other and giggled, knowing everything that had happened. Nothing.